once upon a time there was a woman named Victoria Lord Riley Burke Riley Buchanan Buchanan Carpenter Davidson Banks she was the heiress to a vast publishing fortune but even greater in number were all the people she loved her family in the town she called home Landview. You want to do the honors? They're your results. Once we open this, we'll know if Allison was telling the truth. And we'll know if Jessie's really my daughter. Are you sure you want to do this? Hmm? Victoria herself had five children who all grew up to have stories of their own. The youngest were beautiful twin daughters, as different as the colors of their hair. Jessica, the fair maiden who somehow always managed to rescue herself. And Natalie, whose fiery temper could sometimes scare away the people she loved. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, what about you? Shouldn't she be with John? Like the dashing detective John McBain, a hero whose tragic past drives his endless quest for justice. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm sorry. I guess Christmas came a little late this year. Huh? How are you? Are you all right? You know what? I'll be a lot better once Todd pays for what he did. And let's not forget Victoria's brother Todd. His past hurts everyone he cares about, including his true love, Blair. His eldest daughter, Star. She's about to turn a new page herself. <laughs> Victoria's path has long been entwined with that of the mega rich Buchanans, beginning with Clint, the father of her children. You have to know that whatever these results show, you, and only you, will always be Jessica's father. Well, most of them. And then there's Clint's brother, Bo Buchanan, who has long sacrificed his own gain to protect the people he loves. Um, excuse me, Mom, Dad? Oh, Destin, are you ready to go? Uh... Yeah, actually, could you pull the car around and help me to the door, please? Baby, what's wrong? Nothing, except... I think my water just broke. What did you just say? Are you sure, Destiny? I, I, I think so. Are you feeling any pain, any contractions? Contractions? Yeah, they usually start about now. Oh, my God. What is it? I'm about to have my baby. Okay. Before we open this... I need to thank you. Oh? What for? Well, years ago, when I first found out that I might not be Jessica's father, I think my knees buckled. Yes, well, I wasn't very sure-footed myself. Are you kidding me? You're as steady as they come, and not just back then, either. Vicky, you've been my rock ever since I met you. <laughs> you know that's not true. Yes, it is. And it was true even when I couldn't stand you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't exactly a picnic all the time either. <laughs> this is the story of Victoria's life. One she lived with love, laughter, tears, joy, sorrow, anger, betrayal, and forgiveness. And maybe just a few surprises.
So. Shall we? from in there. Hope is out like a light. Yeah, the same thing happens to me when I fly. Look at that. A couple hours and you're here. I'm sort of wondering why I haven't come out sooner. Well, I think Langston was wondering the same thing. You're here now and that's all that matters. You guys are the best for letting us stay here with you. Hey, when your album drops, we can say we knew you back when. Even if Hope keeps you up all night crying? I thought you said she didn't do that anymore. Stop. We are just so happy that you're in L.A. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys are. My parents sure aren't. Do this. I know the feeling, okay? I've been wanting to strangle Todd with my bare hands. Yeah, I'd pay good money to see that. Yeah, get in line. I want to be there when you get him. You know, that's not possible. The man kept me like a rat in a cage for weeks, John. Put a gun to my head. Made me confess to Blair to a murder I did not commit. Jeopardized my relationship. I just want to tell her that I love her. Look on her face. You have any idea what that's like? What are we waiting for? Let's get this show on the road. Do you really want me to do this? There's no one I trust more. Okay. Here goes. It's okay, baby. Women do this every day. Oh, your mom's so right. You're gonna be fine, sweetie. You're gonna be fine. I don't know if I am. Right. You know what? Let's just take a look first. Yeah. And you know what's going on? Then I'll go get the car. I'm parked right outside. Well, the ambulance would be fast. Well, how fast can they drive? John will get us a police oh, escort. Well, hey, where's guys? Best in his bag? It's in the yeah. front closet. Well, guys! Yeah, we gotta call the hospital. Hey, guys, listen. Yeah. Who's her OB? I am her OB, all right? And we are not gonna make it to the hospital. This baby is coming now. What? what? No! Oh, no! Where was I? Of course. Vicky and her two beautiful girls. But Vicky didn't always know there were two, did she? Clint's daughter Natalie was hidden away while the messenger's beloved Jessica grew up in the lap of luxury. You don't have to be strong. I know that this hurts. I thought I'd feel better. You know, now that Mitch is dead. It doesn't fix anything. It doesn't bring Ford back. And it doesn't undo all the evil my father did. Right, you know better than that. Mitch is not your father. No matter what I said that day. No matter what we said. You are very much a part of this family. And our father is right through those doors. And nothing will ever change that. A genetic test issued January the 12th, 2012. Enclosed are samples taken from the subjects Clint Buchanan and Jessica Brennan. Vicky, what? Cut to the chase. Oh. Okay. Uh... Uh, the samples taken indicate. <gasps> what? What does it say? Am I Jessica's father? What's going on? When are you going to 
guys doing in here? Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, probably the last thing you want to see right now. Oh, it's okay. We were, you know, thinking about Cole, so we just wanted to look at some memories. Yeah, I should have put it away. No, 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 it's not that. Um, there's something I need to tell you. I think Cole would want you to know, too. Are you serious? I need to go to the hospital. I'm sorry, Dad, there's no time. Of course there's time. There's a ton of time. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm afraid oh, Vivian's right. This baby's ready to make an entrance. Okay, and everybody's here for you. Yes, we are. Not everybody. Dusty, okay, listen, I have done this outside of the hospital before, and I promise you and the baby are going to be just fine. Yes. Okay. How can we help? Um, I just need some boiling water with some scissors in it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so, and so, so with dyes and fragrances. No, no, no fragrances. And no shoelaces. Uh, so, so, okay, and Sean? Can I get some clean blankets? Okay. Okay. So, so, Nigel, Nigel. No, what, what can we do? Anything. Just be here for destiny, right? Just gonna have a busy afternoon. Hey, what's going on? There's mold boarding in the kitchen. How else may I just put the bath? The what? Matthew. Matthew. You okay, sweetie? Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. Destiny. The baby's coming out right now. Looks that way. You scared? Pretty much. Don't worry, so am I. When is going to get back to me about the war? And then? Once he signs off on the evidence, we get Manning. And your name will finally be cleared. Now borrow your phone. Depends on what you need. I want to call Blair, tell him I'm safe. You can't do that. Why not? Because... Uh... Blair doesn't know the truth about you. Or the truth about Todd. Isn't this what we, we both wanted? To, to trust each other? Show each other what we meant to each other? More than anything. Well then, what's wrong? Why are you pushing me away? So all that stuff in the sun was a lie? And Cole is okay? He's fine. He's with his parents. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's crazy, but completely uh, awesome. No, I know. Of course, that's what I thought. How are you dealing with all this? You know, um, I'm not sure. I may never see him again, but it is enough to know that he is safe and with his family. And so are you now. <laughs> Tell you, why doesn't Blair know the truth? I wanted to tell her. It took every fiber in my being not to tell her. But you didn't. We figured that if Todd knew Blair was on to him, he would leave town. Why? Because Blair can't keep a secret? <sighs> She's been known to talk. And you don't, Parito? No, I don't talk. I do keep secrets. And besides, since you've been gone... I... What? Todd and Blair have gotten closer. We couldn't risk telling Blair, and she might tell... <sighs> Tomas, where are you going? Where are you going? I am going to settle the score with Todd. Tomas! Don't do it. You're right, I am pushing you away. Who chooses curtains like this? They're horrible. What is this? Please, just tell me. I was on my way to Ireland. And you showed up at the airport to try and stop me. Do you remember that? Really? You're asking me that like I could forget that? You said you finally had everything that you wanted. And that the problem with having everything that you want... Is that you could lose everything. The whole time I was away from you. All I wanted, all I needed, was to get back to you. To get back to our children. And here I am. Here I am. You... are not going to lose me. Yeah, that's what I told you. I said just that. Right before somebody shot me in the back and stuffed me in the back of a car. And nothing was ever the same. Come on, Todd. 
Didn't we both just say there are no guarantees? It would be great if there were guarantees. Wouldn't it just be great? It would make everything just so much easier. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Because then you, you wouldn't trust people. And if you didn't trust people, then you wouldn't get hurt. People are unreliable. People do stupid things. Not everybody. Well, I do stupid things every day. Well, then, you need to know right here, right now, there is nobody in the world that I trust more than you. So, if you know a reason why, why we shouldn't do this, What's up? Yeah, what is going on? Jesse? Yeah, your father has something to tell you. Uh-oh. And honey, this affects you as well. I don't like the sound of this. Dad, what is it? The other night, when Allison Perkins was here, she said that she had been lying to Mitch Lawrence for a very long time. It's a real big surprise. Jessica. She told your mother and me that you're my biological daughter. What? Is, is that true? That's what I wanted to find out. So I had a DNA test done. What did it say? Jesse. Whatever the test results say, please know that you always were and always will be my daughter. But it's awfully nice to know that it's official. <laughs> Daddy? I want you to push, okay? Alre already? Yeah, this baby's in a hurry. Jeez, you couldn't tell the baby to wait till you got to a hospital? You tried telling it that! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Deep breath, deep oh. breath, and push. Oh, my baby's not the baby! Oh, my baby! Oh, you're doing it, that's it. Yes, you can, you won't do with it. You are doing it. You want to go home? We can do this tonight! Just be quiet, we're both here right now, okay? I'm going, we're going to do this together, okay? You just shut up. No, 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 don't wait, 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 wait. You didn't want this baby, you ran away. Like I said, I was scared, okay? So why are you here? My brother, he told me that we have to be there for the ones we care about most, and that is you, and that is this baby. Okay, this is it. When I tell you, I want you to push as hard as you can, okay? Okay, deep breath. And push. Say hello to your son. You know, I really don't understand why I haven't heard from any producers. I mean, with Fraternity Row gone, people need something with twists and turns. What? Don't tell me I'm boring you. Well, this next part will pique your interest. It's about Victoria's niece, Star Manning. A girl in love with the son of the woman her father raped? Now that's drama. I'm sorry. Pulse alive. Sorry, I didn't tell you that sooner. I'm just glad he's okay. No, I know. When he was in the hospital and I thought that he could die worrying about someone you love, it's horrible. Hey, we can talk about that. What? Ford. I don't even know what to say. Say anything you want. 
the way I felt about him was real, you know? We just weren't right for each other. Not like you and Marco. <laughs> I'm glad he found a family in Jessica and Ryder. Ford was a really good father. That makes it a little better. <laughs> Knowing he'll live on through his son. Congratulations, Mama. Yes, and Papa. Yes. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. What do you think he looks like? I thought all babies looked the same. Oh. <laughs> no. He's got that Buchanan chin. Oh, poor kid. Hey, it doesn't look so bad on you. No, I think it looks very distinguished. Yeah, well, what if he... He'd been a girl. <laughs> then she'd be very distinguished. <laughs> of course. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? You can say that again. Yeah, hey, hey. Good news. Destiny did it. And it's a boy. <laughs> no, I, I don't know that they're going to call him David. But the point... Okay, okay, no, I'll, I'll ask him. But here's, here's the deal. I understand you're the one that talked Matthew into stepping up. Yes, it is a very big deal. I think it's the greatest thing that you've ever done for this family. And son, it just means the world to me. Okay? All right, no, I'll talk to you soon. All right? Bye, David. Hey. Uh, how you feeling? I think I'm in a little over my head. Yeah, well, I know that feeling. Mm. <laughs> but the good news is... You're not in this alone. That's right. Because we are all one big family now. And we have this beautiful, precious baby to thank for. <laughs> so, what are we going to name him? Oh. <laughs> well, I say this is turning out to be an exciting exceptionally wonderful day. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. I'm, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry for being happy, sweetheart. Well, it's not like you weren't always my father. I know you thought that. But now Mitch is not a part of my life. He's not a part of Brian Ryder's life. I mean, my kids, they're your grandchildren. Weren't they always? <laughs> yes, of course they were. <laughs> yes. And, um, we're twins. Like it or not. I like it. You know, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but finding you was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> hey, everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Who was that? Uh, my manager. He's been pushing me to direct this comedy. You know what? I'll get that. <laughs> Hello? Star Manning? Yes, that's me. Your father sent me. Did he seriously think he can drag me back to Landview? You're free to go wherever you want, with your bodyguard. Look, I'm sorry that you came all the way here, but there's really no need. Not me. I'm just an associate of Mr. Manning's. This is your bodyguard. Nice to meet you, Miss Manning. I know that you're scared. So am I. But we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I think it's worth... worth finding out. Man, you expect me to just sit here and not do anything? We do not have a warrant. You go over there now, you compromise the investigation. So what, I'm just supposed to sit here, let Blair be taken in by the man who murdered your husband? We don't have another choice. It is too risky to try to get her away from him. I'm not some civilian, hermanita. I'm a trained agent. I take people out. That's yeah. what I did. Yes, and you have feelings for Blair. So you are not thinking clearly, okay? You're going to go over there now, and then we're never going to see Todd again? Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Is that what Blair would want? Look, I understand your frustration, okay? But the best thing, the only thing that we can do is just sit here right now, all right? This way, Todd can't make things any worse.
Let's see. Where were we? Oh, yes. Victoria and Clint had just been told by the genius Alison Perkins that the beloved Jessica was not Mitch's daughter after all. It suddenly occurs to me that I have no idea what Vicky and Clint did with that particular little bombshell. Do you? Oh well. It'll keep until the sequel. Oh my gosh! We've got to tell Rex! He's gonna be so excited he has another sister! <laughs> oh, if he believes us, isn't this like the third time he's found out that we're related? <laughs> third time's a charm. I'll be there in one sec. Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. I just, uh... You guys really are the best parents in the whole world. It's pretty easy when you got the best kids. I'll get that. <laughs> Does it get any better than this? No. Yeah, I don't think so. Yes. I didn't think of any names, did you? Um, Yolanda. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought we were having a girl. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> so we've got nothing? What about David? <clears throat> what? What? I told him I'd ask. He thought maybe oh. Matthew would want to name his, his son after his brother. You know, that's not such a bad idea. You're serious? <laughs> Except I was thinking more like my other brother. Drew. I think that'd be a fine name, son. What do you think? She likes it. Happy birthday, Drew. <laughs> hey, the ward is in. That was fast. Yeah, Ren, you owe me a few favors. Great. So what are we waiting for? Let's do you this. You are not doing anything. Come on, McBain. We've been over this already. We have to do this by the book. By the book? Is that the same book that lets Todd keep getting away with murder? Let John do his job, Domas. The sooner he does that, the sooner Blair will know the truth. song, that sappy Nat King Cole song that... It's happening. <laughs> yes, it is. You have a pretty voice. What? Why are you still afraid you're going to lose me? It's always been you and me, Blair. I love you. I love you too. All right, let me take a look at that kid. <laughs> Another generation of Buchanan's. Mm. Some things never change, huh? You say that on the day that we become grandparents? Oh, God, bite your tongue. <laughs> Life really flies by, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah. That's why we always got to pay attention, honey. I'm going to bring the car around, and we're going to get old Drew to the hospital. Okay. Hey. I love you, Rhett. Hope you 
you. The story of Landview is ending one chapter while beginning another. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I was released yesterday. Good. I'm glad you're better. Yeah, me too. I wanted to tell you, I'm sorry about Ford. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, what's next for you? I've been talking to some buddies of mine from the Navy. There might be some work for me back in the forces. Great. Well, make sure you take care of yourself. Oh, well. And I want you to know, if you ever need anything, I will be there. I know things have been rough between us and we haven't been together for a while, but I will always care about you, Jessica. Nothing's going to change that. Thank you. I should go. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Anytime. I mean that. For some, there is still a long way before the happily ever after. For others, it's right around the corner. You know, in the, in the past few days, I nearly lost everything. We both did. Yeah. And it made me realize that if one of us had kicked the bucket, I really would have been a total fool. Why? Because I wasted too much damn time. Oh. And by God, I'm not gonna do that anymore. And so right here, right now, what I wanna say is this. said they were going to be sending over a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, easy, easy, oh, easy. The man has just been shot. You ready, buddy? Oh. No, I'm okay. But, uh, man, you don't know how good it is to see you guys. Well, I mean, we got some idea an hour ago. We thought you were dead. I thought you were with your parents. I was. Uh, my mom's doing better, and, uh... My dad, he's, uh... How is he? He's, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, why aren't you with your family now? Hey, you're my family. You mean hope. That is if... If that's what you want to. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> Some are starting new families. Some will finally find justice. Hey, 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 hey. lo suave, hermano, eh? This will all be over soon, all right? And Todd Manning will finally get what's coming to him. What are you going to do for an uncle? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to sing you a song. Mm, okay. You know, songs. Thank you. And some will pay for their crimes. LPD Fritz! What the hell? Sorry. We knocked repeatedly. Sometimes the bells get a little antsy. Todd Manning, you're under arrest for the murder of Victor Lloyd Jr. But why spoil what happens next? You of all people should know. Things are rarely what they appear. 